What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. When you're designing websites, sometimes things can start to feel a little bit section-y, like here's the content, here's content, here's content. It all just feels a little bit separate from each other and there's a lot of horizontal lines. So in today's video, I wanna talk about overlapping content between sections and how to break up your layouts in a more pleasing and dynamic manner. So first, let's go over overlapping an image into the section below. So currently there is no way to overlap content between sections, but we can fake it. So the easiest way to do that is just to drag a solid that's the same color as the next section into the section above. So if I add a block and add a shape block, uh, if it's the same color as the next section, as long as you count the rows beneath your content and they're the same as the amount on top. So here I have two rows above my content, so I'll want two rows below, and this will kind of act as the bottom of the section. But now if I move it behind, so I'm gonna move it backwards, and now I can drag the image over it. If I make this content full width by dragging it all the way to the edge of the screen, I can now drag up the bottom of the section and it feels like the image is now bleeding into the next section. And you can just determine like how much overlap you want between the sections. If I drag down the shape block, hit save and hit exit, we can now see that the image on the right now feels like it's kind of like overlapping into the next section. So already we've kind of split up one of our horizontal lines from going all the way across the screen and now we have kind of a nice overlap and break here. So you could have a little bit of text in this section above if you wanted to, because um, right now it feels like a little bit blank. So you could drag a text block in there. If you wanted to have like a bunch of content over here, uh, then what I would recommend is just dragging the section down, making this shape block much bigger. And now you can have like as much content as you wanted in this section down below. And uh, you, you know, you're just using this the shape here as like the new background color of this section. And it looks like this image is now overlapping these two sections. So um, just one thing that you could do there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that block. What I'm gonna do is um, pull up the shape block a little bit. I'll pull up the bottom here. And I'm gonna have this block here. I'm gonna move it up into the section above. So I can do that by hitting Control C and then Control V and that'll paste it into the section above. And I'll just have my content so it kind of overlaps um, this image here and I'll drag it to the bottom of the section. Uh, so one thing we could do here is then uh, drag down or copy this image into the section above. And now I could slightly overlap this content and drag down my shape block. Whoops. Select the shape block, drag that down. So now we have like a double overlap where the text is above uh, this image and this one is overlapping. And now I can copy this text block into this section as well. And then we can just get rid of this section altogether. And if I want, you know, a little bit more padding on the bottom, um, I can hover over this section and just add a few more rows to the bottom and then increase my shape block. So already you can see like this feels way different than what we had before, even though the content is the same and the layout is fairly similar too. And we just have a lot more like dynamism, I guess you could say. And uh, the other thing is like, what if we wanted this image to like extend into the section below? The only thing that we can do in this case is actually instead of having this be a background image like it is now, it would be uploading this as an image block to the section above. So let me go ahead and add some more rows and I'll add a block and add an image block. And again, we'll make this span the full width and make it go to the all the way to the bottom of the section as well. Let me go ahead and scale this up a bit. So I already have the image uploaded, so I'm gonna add it from my library. And then if I edit the image block and go to design and hit fill, it'll now fill the frame just like it was before. And I had a little bit of an overlay on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and add an overlay to this image. 
as well. If I go to custom, let's see, there we go. If I hit the color, now I can lower the opacity, which is exactly what I wanted. Right, okay, so I'm gonna drag down that block, and now we can overlap the image block into the next section virtually. Um, because we've added this image block to the same section, I can now overlap this image into the next section. And then I can take this content, I'll select both of these things, hit Control C, and then I'll paste it over the image and we'll just move it all the way to the front. And now I can delete this section as well. And then I also want to make sure I use my text override to make this text white. Okay, so now if I hit save and then hit exit, we have our overlapping block into the next section, we have blocks overlapping each other, and then we have this image overlapping into the next section as well. Um, and it kind of just like leads down into the following content. And then we have our content here on the bottom, similar to how we had it before. So I'm not saying this is the best layout, but I, I will say that it definitely doesn't feel so sectiony, like everything's just kind of horizontal, split apart in different sections. So I just kind of want to use this as an opportunity to just point out that now with Fluid Engine, we, we have the ability to overlap things and make things look like they're, you know, overlapping into the next section when really we can just use blocks to accomplish that similar effect. Now, one thing that's really cool is uh, if I right click on the section and click inspect, I wanna give you a sneak preview of something that I think is going to be coming. Um, if I go up to the content wrapper and I look at some of the styles, here we have when the page section has a content wrapper that doesn't have a class of allow overlays, the Z index is zero, which is interesting. So it seems like in the future, they might be adding a feature where we can toggle on the ability to allow overlays. And how I interpreted this is meaning allow content to go outside of the current section, overlay the, the current section that you're in, and essentially allow overlays. So hopefully in the future, fingers crossed, that's what this means we will be able to drag content between two separate sections because the only downside of this meth method that I have here is this is a lot of blocks to manage in a single section. And also it makes it difficult to select content because if I try and like click and drag to select multiple blocks, I'm clicking and dragging my background image. So it just, yeah, it makes it more difficult to manage this way. It would be easier if these things were in separate sections, but we could then just kind of drag blocks to go between sections, uh, whereas right now we cannot do that. So hopefully this you know, gave you some inspiration uh, and also a little sneak peek at hopefully things to come. Uh, and then obviously mobile view will require some love as you know, the blocks aren't set up you know, as you would want them to be in terms of overlapping the content, but that shouldn't be too difficult in terms of just reorganizing the blocks for mobile. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.